Bearded dragons have three temperatures to measure, basking spot, warm ambient, and cool ambient. The basking spot is the hottest area in the enclosure where they bask. The warm ambient is the air temperature on the warm side of the enclosure, and the cool ambient is the air temperature on the cool side of the enclosure. Ambient temperatures are best measured with digital thermometers, one on the warm end and one on the cool end, as analog thermometers are often inaccurate. Basking temperatures can be measured with a digital infrared thermometer. Bearded dragons need a basking spot of 105 to 115 degrees Fahrenheit, a warm ambient of 95 to 100 degrees Fahrenheit, and a cool ambient of 75 to 80 degrees Fahrenheit. Any light emitting sources should be turned off at night and temperatures can drop to 65 degrees Fahrenheit. If needed, a non-light emitting source like a ceramic heat emitter, radiant heat panel, or deep heat projector can be used to maintain temperature at night. Sunlight is made up of UV, near IR, mid IR, far IR, and visible light. Flood tungsten halogen bulbs are the most efficient at producing near IR, which is the most abundant IR in sunlight. And they also produce significant mid IR and some far IR. Far IR is the least abundant in sunlight, but it is most often produced in large amounts by sources like ceramic heat emitters, heat pads, and radiant heat panels. Tungsten halogen bulbs should be the flood type to ensure a wide enough basking site. These heat producing bulbs can be found as reptile specific bulbs or at hardware stores. Avoid hot rocks as these can easily burn reptiles. Bearded dragons should have an ambient humidity of 30 to 60% measured by a digital hygrometer. A water dish and occasional heavy misting should be enough to provide adequate humidity. A dehumidifier may be needed to reduce humidity. Ceramic heat emitters also tend to dry out enclosures, but do not necessarily replicate the sun's light. Wild bearded dragons have access to and spend time in humid microclimates, such as burrows or clumps of grass. If natural substrate is being used and the dragon is able to burrow, this may be able to replicate the microclimates. If tile, paper towel, or any other kind of non-burrowing substrate is used, it may be beneficial to offer a humidity hide, which is a humid microclimate that is kept humid with moist, but not soaking wet, moss. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video and hope to see you soon.